Thank you, Representative. And, and before we transition uh, over to the next questions, quickly, Dr. Griscom, uh, the governor's proposed budget is 14.3 million, request was 15.9, so it's a $1.6 million difference. Uh, without that $1.6 million, are you gonna have to cut back on something? Uh, where would additional funding be utilized for? We're pretty conservative. I know that. In our approach to things, um, we have a higher ratio, a, a smaller ratio of administration, faculty, or, and staff to our faculty and to our students. Um, there's no president's house, there's no car that's designated for any particular member of our staff. I don't have a secretary. We try and, uh, we still get things done and we get them done effectively. Um, we've been uh, the Aspen top 10% of two-year colleges in America since the inception of the award, and we're a Simon Scholarship um, uh, nominee this year. But we just try and be as conservative as we can uh, with our money. Um, what we would do to try and accommodate that, we would not fill positions, which we're not doing right now. We would not, um, we would not increase any programs. We would try and defer as much maintenance as we possibly can in order to make that. That 1.6, last year, we were very uh, fortunate to receive a million dollar increase, which is about seven and a half percent to our state appropriation. We spent $1.2 million more to this year in salaries and benefits for mandated incre increases in salary and benefits and things of that nature. So we're kind of treading water. We've done as many things as we possibly can internally to increase capacity. We've leased over 50,000 square feet of private sector manufacturing space to in, improve, increase uh, programs. We doubled the size of our metal fabrication and welding program. We doubled uh, uh, masonry program. We've added programs in the evening. We added, added software engineering this year. But it is a tightrope that all of us walk in higher education, but again, I don't see this, I, I see this as an investment. I don't, we, we talk about this as education. I think it's economic development. If we can grow this workforce, if we can provide these great employers that we have in Pennsylvania with the workforce they need, they can grow their revenues by 30 and 40%. Every one of our graduates that gets out of there, within a few years, they're, they're living the American dream. They're buying a home, they're taking vacations, they own a car. They're driving the economy. They're not, our median student loan debt at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology is $7,300. These kids pay this off in the first three months they're working. So they're buying things, they're consumers, they're driving the economy, they're paying taxes, and the companies that they work for are doing the same thing. So to me, this is economic development more than it is just about education. I, I appreciate that, and I hate to cut you off, but, but we have been read for quite a while. Uh, 